What is going on YouTube, Akers here again with another brand new After Effects tutorial and as requested today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this typing effect within After Effects so it actually looks like it's being typed real time on the screen so let's go ahead and get started first off I'm going to make a new composition and I'm going to go to layer new solid create a new solid black yep that's fine going to create a new text layer I'm just going to copy and paste the text the font that I'm using is American typewriter if you want to know so you just want to position your text where you want and we're going to drop down the attributes of the text and under the attributes you can see we've got animate so if we select animate we want to animate the opacity and that gives us an animator and a range selector and if we drop down the range selector now what we get is we get a start end and an offset so we're going to set the opacity to zero like so we're going to drop down the advanced menu and set the smoothness smoothness to zero and now what we're going to do we're going to animate the offset so currently the offset is at 0% like so and if we move the offset up you can see that it starts to reveal the text like so so all you want to do is set that to 0 hit the stopwatch to add a keyframe at the start of the timeline move forward to a few seconds and then set this to 100% and if we play now we already get that basic effect but now what we're going to add is the cursor so if we have a look at the example you can see we've got that cursor sort of writing makes, makes it look a lot more realistic so once again we're going to go to animate animate opacitor and then under the animator 2 what we're going to do is add a property and the property that we're going to add is chain character value so add a character value to the second animator and under the character value if we change this you can see if you change it to any random number we get a whole different characters so we got Z's all the alphabet really but if you choose 95 what that's going to give us that's going to give us an underscore and the underscore works quite well for that cursor effect so all you have to do now is within the second animator you just want to drop down the range selector and once again turn the smoothness to 0% and we're going to change the end to 1% and we're going to set a keyframe for the offset so hit that keyframe button and move to where it finishes where we put our original keyframe and then set the offset to 100 like so and if we play now there we go we get that type effect with the cursor so it's like actually typing so that's pretty cool and you can stretch these keyframes out if you want if you want it to be really long you can stretch them out like so so it takes a little bit longer or if you want it really fast just move them up the timeline like so and you get a really fast typing motion Cool, so that wraps it up for today's tutorial on how to do the typing effect within After Effects. Hope you enjoyed and you learned something new. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I will see you again very soon in another video. Thanks for watching guys, catch you later.